I live in borrowed time. Therefore I see no reason in the world why my heart grows more dark. Your computer will be faster and more reliable, Windows XP tells you during setup. Does this statement hold up? On a Pentium 3 or 4, you should expect some pretty good performance, but is it worth running Windows XP instead of Windows 98 on older hardware? To answer this question, I'm going to run a computer using mixed hardware, a 450MHz Pentium 2, an NVIDIA GeForce 2 Ultra, and a couple of Fujitsu SCSI hard drives from 2002, one running Windows 98 Second Edition, the other running Windows XP Professional Service Pack 1A. They're both ludicrously speed for their time. I'm going to run a mixture of software on both operating systems, from benchmarks to games and DOS programs, as well as an old version of Blender. I don't have much experience with 3D modeling animation software, so I'll only go over this one briefly. Rotating the view under Windows 98 is very smooth, but it's choppy under Windows XP. Rendering this particular object with no special textures in Windows 98 takes about three-fifths of the time it takes in Windows XP. Using PC Mark 2002, I got mixed results between the two operating systems. Running the full benchmark under Windows XP returns a greater CPU score than Windows 98, but a worse memory score. Moreover, the hard drive tests did not run at all in Windows 98. Some argue Windows XP's new theme may be a contributing factor to its slowness compared to previous versions of Windows, so I ran the PC Mark benchmark again, this time with the classic Windows theme and a solid desktop background. Surely enough, the CPU and memory scores show slight improvements, but strangely, the hard drive score shows an even greater improvement by almost 100 points. In any case, switching to the Windows Classic theme doesn't make that much of a difference in performance, as I originally thought. Using DirectX 7 hardware rendering, the gap in 3 d Mark 2000's results for Windows 98 and XP is much wider, showing a difference of 856 3 d Marks. Since Windows XP includes its own GeForce 2 Ultra driver, I decided to install a more recent one from NVIDIA to see if that would improve my 3D Mark results. Turns out it didn't make much of a difference at all. Running the DOS Base Impulse Tracker under Windows 98 is straightforward. The program recognizes the sound hardware and plays the music normally, but the borders will be rendered with strange ASCII characters in windowed mode. Running Impulse Tracker in Windows XP is a different story. No EMS memory is allocated to the program by default, so you have to enable it yourself. The sound card is detected here as well, but the music sounds very choppy. Using my Sound Blaster Live card, I got sound effects to work with Duke Nukem 3D in Windows 98, but no music. Duke Nukem 3D fails to start out right in Windows XP, but several Win32 builds for this game do exist. I was surprised to see how smoothly Unreal ran under Windows XP. The time demo returns an average of 35 frames per second compared to 42 in Windows 98. It's about 7 frames slower, but certainly playable. Half-Life's performance is also fairly similar between the two operating systems. As long as you use DirectX or OpenGL hardware rendering, you should be good to go. With the fastest Pentium 2 on the market and 384 megabytes of RAM, Windows XP is undoubtedly usable, but suffers a significant performance penalty with this 1998-ish hardware, which is partially compensated by several early Pentium 4 era components. You're better off running Windows 98 on a Pentium 2 either way. Even though Windows XP is compatible with an extensive range of software due to its long lifespan and popularity, some more recent programs may demand newer CPU instruction sets like SSE or SSE2, which are not present in the Pentium 2. What about on newer hardware? Windows XP was designed with the Pentium 3 and 4 in mind, wasn't it? Surely there's several hardware features it's begging to take advantage of. That question will have to be visited in another time.